Hey guys, uh, I received a ton of emails today about the video I did on how I incorporate intermittent fasting into my in my daily routine. The the most popular question I had is everybody wanted to know what was I going to eat today as opposed to yesterday. So I was just gonna make a quick video and give you a little idea. Yesterday I jumped out all day, I ate whatever I wanted. I had several sandwiches throughout the day with ham, salami, and cheese and I had chocolate, I had pizza, I had a ton of ice cream, I ate whatever I wanted. And my last meal was around 7 o'clock last night. Um, I woke up today, I didn't have any, I didn't even have bulletproof coffee, I just had regular coffee. And then I hit the gym about 11 o'clock today and I did uh, high intensity interval training. I did sprints on the treadmill and I did sprints on the, uh, on the spin bike for a total of probably 28 minutes. And a lot of that was warming up, so I'm not doing high intensity stuff for all 28 minutes and that was it. My first meal today was on the way home from work. I had a I had a container of raspberries, I had a container of blackberries, I had an apple, and a couple of handfuls of cashews. I like cashews. That's how I broke my fast. That was after 21 hours of not eating. If you get cashews, make sure you get cashews that don't contain any added oils like peanut oil or canola oil because most of the ones you see on the shelves in the grocery stores do contain all those oils. You don't want those. Stay away from them. So today, now I'm about to have dinner. Renzo, get your feet off the table, dude. Come on. <laughs> Renzo's got his feet on the table, sorry. But today, I have two really large, um, nice lean sirloins here. They're not both for me. That'll be for, for my wife, too. So I got a nice lean cut of steak here. And here's a salad that I make with that. I cut up a couple of cucumbers, a bunch of cherry tomatoes, and there's a whole avocado cut up in there. And I just add salt and balsamic vinaigrette. And when the balsamic vinaigrette combines with the avocado, it makes a really nice creamy dressing. I know it doesn't look good, but it's actually really delicious. Um, but that's what I'm going to have for dinner now. Another thing I didn't mention yesterday is I do eat a lot of sweet potatoes. I'd be eating sweet potatoes right now, but I was just lazy and I didn't feel like cooking them, so I didn't make them. So don't shy away from the sweet potatoes. They're, they're really healthy for you and very satisfying. So I'll have this now, and in an hour or two, if I'm hungry again, I'll have either uh, bacon and eggs, or I may have a shake with my Beverly UMP chocolate protein, and then I'll have frozen blueberries, maybe a half a banana, and some almond butter, and make a really delicious shake. I may even put in some frozen spinach, but it just depends on, on what I feel like having. But I will eat again tonight. You know, I'll eat a, a lot, and maybe eat twice again tonight. But for everyone who asks, what will I eat today? Like I said, this is just for those people who were curious. That's what I'm eating now. Steak, that salad, and whatever I feel like having when I'm done. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, keep the emails coming. Thanks.